Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. In this lesson on fastcube.net, I'll show you how to connect a cube to data using the samples provided with the application. Fastcube can get data from a data source, from a stream, it can be received directly from application code, or the data can be saved with the cube itself. We'll be getting the data from a database. And we'll build a small Windows Forms app for that. I've already made a new blank project. First thing we need to do is to add the libraries FastReport All App and FastReport Bus into your references. Next, let's start making the app. If you haven't done it yet, add the FastCube components onto your toolbox. And we'll also need two OLEDB components, OLEDB command and OLEDB connection. Now let's add elements to the form. In this order, so it's easier to set them up. Cube, Slice, Data Source, DB Dataset, OLEDB command, OLEDB connection. And the only visual component we'll need – Slice Grid. OLEDB connection should be getting its data from our demo database, which is a MS access file. It's located in the root folder and is called demo.mtb. Then OLEDB command. We'll be using this component for executing a query to our database. Set the connection to the existing connection and then set up its command text. You can build a query in this visual editor or write it here. But I already have a query copied, so let's just paste it. If you're repeating exactly this example, the query's text is in the description. Next, we will set up the DB dataset. Its DB command should be OLEDB command 1. And now we can set up the data source. Its dataset should be DB dataset 1. Now we can set up the cube and the slice. Cube's source should be data source. And the data source itself, the one we've set up a moment ago. And the slice should be getting its data from the cube. Finally, the slice should be loaded into the slice grid. And that's almost all of the setup that we need to do. We need to create an event that happens after the form is loaded. The only thing that's necessary is setting the cube active property to true. And now let's launch the app. We can draw fields and create measures to make a new slice. But if you want to load an already existing slice, you can do that this way. Create a string variable for the slices path and then load it into slice1. And now we have a slice that's loaded on launch and that slice is showing us the data from a database. This was today's lesson on FastCube. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel. At this moment there are playlists for videos about FastCube and FastReport.net. And links are in the description.